Oh my god, is that a silicon-backed monitor, bro? Uh, yes it is. Um, is this still available? Is it still available? Is it still available? Is it still available? Bro, is this thing Warzone? capable of playing uh, Warzone with high FPS? Hey, man, what's up this uh, weekend? What's the FPS? Gonna get on the card this weekend with the boys. Hey, man, what's up this weekend? What are you doing? What's up? Yeah, playing that. Six packs, 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 a couple of weeks ago here at Tech Yes City, we were flipping our way up with that $100 challenge. And within that video, I did a couple of setups with Call of Duty Warzone backgrounds or wallpapers on the monitors in the shots. And there's a lot of reasons for doing this. But after I did that, I noticed that a lot of people were sending me messages and some people were even calling me up just saying that was like some of the funniest stuff I've seen. And they were laughing at it, like the fact that it, you know, it does work and it works extremely well. So today we're going to explore the whole world of the Call of Duty Warzone wallpaper and the origins of it, what's the story with it, and of course when you should be pulling off this tactic if you want to help sell your gaming PC. Let's go in with it with our little uh, silicon monitor here that we picked up. I think it was about 15 Aussie dollars I picked this up for. 22 inch monitor. We've just got a free stand here. We've silicon that to the back of the monitor. Let's check out what we've got pop up in here. Uh, hey mate, um, yeah, I'm actually in the market for a juicy Z490 motherboard. If you're after a juicy Z490 motherboard, then the ASRock Z490 Phantom Gaming ITX has you covered with Thunderbolt 3, Nehemic Audio, and addressable RGB on top of that juicy VRM that can power even the likes of a 10900K. Links in description below to find out more. Now the art of the wallpaper with a gaming PC set up when you're going to flip it dates, at least for me personally and people locally, dates back to around 2017 with the release of PUBG. Now you're probably thinking, well wasn't it Fortnite? And no actually, Fortnite came after PUBG in terms of its popularity and selling gaming PCs. It was originally PUBG that made this big splash on the PC that started to get people over from console, which compared to a PC can be a lot more simple, which is a big appeal of it. However, PUBG bringing people over to PC also brought with it when you're trying to sell a PC, all these questions. And it came with the, can this play PUBG? And it was just, that was the main question. Can it play PUBG? Or what FPS does it get on PUBG? And then you're left with, okay, what settings, what resolution? And pretty much a, a lot of the times people just want to get the cheapest thing possible and hope that it can play PUBG. And so when we had a wallpaper with that game on it in with a PC and a mouse and keyboard, since they were coming over from console, it helped not only sell the whole PC, but it pretty much made a statement of this PC can play PUBG. And so I found it just saved a lot of time when it came to answering questions. And of course, you're making a few more bucks when you're flipping these gaming setups as opposed to a gaming PC. But of course, after that came Fortnite. And this was the massive boom where people just wanted to play on PC in general. And I mean, even though the game was released on console, it just had a lot of people that wanted to play on mouse and keyboard because I guess a lot of the pro players were all mouse and keyboard, especially the pro streamers. And so that brought with it a heap of people wanting to buy gaming PCs. So that was another trend that came through where it's starting to, I guess, fall off. I get, well, it's fallen off a lot since when Fortnite was in its boom period. But now it's coming in with uh, Warzone. And the reason it's coming in with Warzone is actually twofold. Of course, Warzone's a lot newer than uh, both PUBG and Fortnite. But also Warzone requires uh, quite a more powerful PC than both of these two previous games before it. I find you're gonna at least want to get something like around, around a GTX 770 and even a uh, first gen i7 to get decent FPS. As opposed to PUBG and a Fortnite, you could get away with an i5. And in the case of Fortnite, you could even get away with an i3 and still get playable uh, FPS, as well as FX 6300s and stuff like that. I mean, the good thing about Warzone, however, is back on that note of FX uh, CPUs, they do play a lot better on this game so that's one good thing that's going for warzone is it's optimized for multi-cores a lot better however one of the most important things with this setup sort of display and having the wallpaper there is that you've also of course got a monitor and keyboard and mouse 
that can in ways detract away from the case. And this is, I guess, one of those things where if you're on a budget, especially people always want RGB. It doesn't matter what price point it is in general. I know a few of you guys are going to be out there and say, well, I don't like RGB at all. I like to keep the lights off. But in general, when it comes to selling a PC, RGB and LEDs, they sell PCs. And this is just the thing. So if you come into a situation where you've got a budget PC, you've picked the whole thing up for a hundred bucks, you've slapped a graphics card in there, but it doesn't look that good. You can add a $1 LED strip, but a lot of the times that doesn't satisfy people enough. So if you've got a keyboard mouse and a monitor suddenly with a flashy uh, wallpaper of the game they wanna play, it suddenly detracts away from that, I guess you'd say it, not so desirable uh, gaming PC tower itself. And so this is another big reason for having those extra peripherals in the photo is that it makes the setup more, I guess, aesthetically pleasing in the main photo itself. And of course, people want more generally. So this is another generalization. So I'm making quite a few generalizations in today's video, but generalizations, they're gonna save you a lot of time, especially if they're backed by experience, which I guess in ways is backed by uh, unverified statistics, which you know upstairs is what you correlate all the time. And so when I give advice a lot of the times on the channel here, I'm just speaking from experience, which does in ways have those unverified statistics. And I mean, you guys can believe them or not, but over time you start to see that the yes man starts to always give you guys that healthy advice to make sure that you're living a better life. Though the last point we're going to touch on with the setups themselves, and we're going to give you guys an example, is that you're adding value ultimately when you do this. So you see me on parts hunts. I'm picking up these monitors for maybe 30, 40. Recently, they have gone up in price. For some reason, monitors actually locally where I am, they're being sold out quite quickly. So the prices are going up. You're adding a lot of value when you compare that to what people are going to pay at a, even a budget retailer that sells a lot of PC parts regularly. Like say in Australia, we've got Umart in America, you guys have Amazon and um, Micro Center. But when we look at those stores, they're giving some of the best value on new parts. But when we go to the regular retailers, the guys that are just, I guess, jacking up the prices more, your value on your setup starts to, that $30, $40 monitor you got, starts to add almost $100 value on your setup sometimes. And then if you get a keyboard and mouse, especially if you picked up one with RGB in it, you've got it for a really good price, you can then add that into the setup. And suddenly people think they're getting sometimes $200 extra of value. So now with that wallpaper, you're doing three things if you're doing it right. That is, you're selling a mediocre looking tower better. You're adding value and you're saving time with questions and you're getting straight to the point. So tech yes citizens, that right there is the art of the Call of Duty wallpaper. And right here is our finished masterpiece. We've got the Call of Duty Warzone backdrop on the monitor, which really just takes the focus on this game right here and the fact that your PC can play this game. So you will be saving time as well as getting more attention with your PC. Because put it this way, as we said before, there's commodities when it comes to selling a gaming PC. You've got it instant, it's ready to go, it's all ready to play that game, but when you've got that backdrop there, that's like, wow, I can be just getting this PC right now and playing Call of Duty Warzone with the boys. And that is what you are selling. Now, admittedly, this case actually surprised me. It looked a lot better than I thought. I think this PC on its own could sell itself without the monitor, keyboard, and mouse. And even if you wanna go as far to add a little bit more LED bling in the photo, just hit the num lock, the caps lock key, even the scroll lock key to turn those LEDs on at the top of the keyboard, just to make it look a little bit more bling worthy. And here it all is now with the Call of Duty Warzone wallpaper. And I guess the picture does sometimes speak a thousand words. So what came to me as a joke, I thought I'd turn it into a video and just help you guys, especially if you are trying to flip some PCs and getting into it. And a lot of people have been messaging me lately, especially in the last month, uh, just showing appreciation because I guess they're getting into the whole world of PC building. And it's a lot of fun when you can build and try all these different hardware configurations and not lose money. And that's, I guess, why I started out all those years doing it because it could fuel that passion. I noticed when I started building a new computer, I had this urge to build another one and just try some different hardware out. But the problem was when you bought all these new parts off the shelf, it was very hard to resell that stuff without losing money. 
So fast forward now during 2020, and I guess it's now become this whole different league where we've gone through the used flipping cycle and now it's just an ever-changing beast. But in terms of going forward, what we spoke about here is if you can get that monitor for $20, $30 and a cheap keyboard and mouse and throw it in, you can not only add value to the setup, but you can take the shift away from a cheaper PC case that is a lot of the times, especially if you're on a budget, it's not worth it both in time and money to go out and get that case and then change all the hardware over because you're going to have to add that cost to the build to get back the money you spent on the case. And I mean, jokes and giggles aside, there is that massive trend that's been coming through for a few years now, and that is people are changing from console to PC. And when they do that, they a lot of the times jump off their TV and they wanna get a monitor and also a keyboard and mouse. So having that set up there as an option is always a good thing. And as I said earlier, those two setups that I had in the second episode of the PC flip up challenge, they sold like almost instantly. I was actually shocked at how quick those two setups sold and we made good profit on them as opposed to the um, two PC builds I've done recently. I've sold one of them and I've got another sale lined up for the next one, but that has taken a lot longer to sell. And I'm guessing that's mainly because a lot of people selling PCs at the moment are just selling the PCs. So you've got a lot of competition there in that space as opposed to a setup there's not a whole lot of people selling setups at the moment. So I'm gonna probably put a setup up for sale and see how it goes. Anyhow, all that aside, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button for us. Also let us know in the comments section below, what's your experience with the wallpapers? Are you rocking a Fortnite wallpaper? Are you rocking a Call of Duty wallpaper? Or are you rocking a Fall Guys wallpaper? or a Valorant wallpaper. I see, they're probably the foremost common. I did see someone uh, rocking a flight simulator wallpaper, though, I mean, I'm not too sure how the flight sim is going to sort of change the mainstream. Sure, Microsoft Flight Simulator is selling really well on the market in terms of people playing it and adopting it, but I kind of don't see how people are gonna say, oh, I'm gonna play Flight Simulator this weekend with the boys, as opposed to, Warzone, which is a huge thing at the moment where people will want to play with their mates on the weekend and they don't have a gaming PC or the gaming PC they had is just too slow to play the latest COD. Anyhow, we got the question of the day here, which comes from Sergio Ortiz and they ask, why does everyone default to 3080? It's going to be called a 2180, seeing as 21 is all in the marketing so far. So 2180, 2170, etc. And the 21 thing, I mean, that would make sense if NVIDIA hasn't stopped production completely of the 2000 series. Because they've stopped production of the 2000 series, I would only see them introducing the 2180 and all that stuff if they were continuing to sell the 2000 series because the numbering scheme wouldn't be that big of a jump and it would be still allow people to say, okay, the numbers aren't too much different. I can go out and get an RTX 2000 card still and it's still gonna be good. So them stopping the RTX 2000 series, basically in my mind, means that they're gonna be calling it the RTX 3000 series because it's a big leap in the numbering scheme. And Nvidia are very smart. They wanna sell graphics cards and I feel like RTX 3000 would sell a lot better than 21 in that particular naming scheme. So at the end of the day, I always analyze things as they're a business, they're a publicly traded company. So they're gonna do best for what makes them money not just for them as a company, but also for the shareholders. So basically to answer that question, I think it will definitely be the 3000 series, though I could be wrong. Hope that answers that question. And if you guys have stayed this far, then be sure to hit that sub button and ring that bell. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.